We will start by preparing the field fiber for termination. First, begin by sliding the strain relief boot onto the fiber. This will ensure that we do not damage the fiber once it has been prepared. Next, strip one and a half inches of the buffer and coating off the fiber. Clean the stripped fiber with isopropyl alcohol. Now, cleave the fiber to 10 millimeters The universal sliding bobtail holder includes an ST, SC, and LC faceplate. First, begin by attaching the appropriate faceplate for the connector's style to the base of the unit. We are going to use an SC connector. For the best results, you may optimize your connection using either a light source and power meter, a visual fault locator, or an OTDR. When using any of these items to help optimize your connection, you must use a reference cord of the same type of fiber as the one you are terminating. In this video, we are going to use the FIS Pocket Fault Locator. First, place the bobtail connector on the inside of the assembly tool. Place the reference cord on the outside of the assembly tool and turn on the pocket fault locator. The bobtail connector should now be glowing red. Place the dowel pin into the hole marked with the connector style you are using. Next, place the cleaved field fiber into the assembly tool. Pull the field fiber through the tool until the buffer reaches the front of the V-groove block. Once in place, close both clamp heads down onto the fiber while trying to minimize any fiber curl before closing. Next, slowly slide the clamp end toward the back of the bobtail connector. The fiber should slide into the back of the connector without much force as to not break the fiber stub. If the fiber is not lined up properly, back off the clamp end, readjust the fiber in the V groove, and continue inserting the fiber into the connector. As the clamp is moved closer to the dowel pin, you should see the light intensity of the pocket fault locator diminish quickly. At this point, stop pushing. You have made a connection with the internal fiber of the connector. If the light does not diminish, or you believe the connection should be better, open both clamp heads and grab the fiber just behind the clamp end. Gently push or twist the fiber as to not break the fiber off inside the connector until you make a better connection. Once the fiber is in the correct position, close the back half of the clamp head to hold the fiber in place. If there was no need to reposition the fiber, open the first clamp to reveal the bare fiber inside the bobtail. Now that we have the fiber in place, it is time to apply epoxy to hold the fiber in place. Place a syringe tip on the top of the Loctite adhesive bottle. Carefully, apply adhesive into the epoxy cavity on the back of the bobtail connector. Start at the top end of the connector and slowly work your way to the rear, completely filling the epoxy slot. The adhesive on its own will cure in 5 to 10 minutes. For a 30 second cure time, spray the adhesive with one blast of accelerator. After 30 seconds have passed, the adhesive will be hardened enough to handle. Once the adhesive has dried, slide the strain relief boot up to the connector and place the connector housing onto the bobtail. It is recommended that you clean the connector's ferrule with an alcohol wipe before inserting the bobtail connector into your network.